Hello, I'm Steve Follen and here's another Weird Week from Newslight TV. This week, dead sexy, micro pigs, old people in vests. And let's start with the latest pet craze. I love this. They're a special breed of micro pig, which grows to just 15 inches tall and have apparently become a surprise hit with celebrities, including Jonathan Ross and that ginger chap off of the Harry Potter films. They're bred in Cambridgeshire and cost about 700 pounds each, but they're so cute and apparently they're incredibly easy to look after. Uh, for a start, I mean this little piggy, uh, he likes to stay home. That little piggy, he likes to eat roast beef and they're incredibly easy to house train. I mean, take that little piggy. If you go for a walk with him, he'll just go wee 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 all the way home. And now the latest addition to the tanks of a London aquarium, swimming fish fingers. After finding out that one in 10 children thought that fish fingers genuinely existed as a type of fish, the fishy folk at Sea Life in London decided to play a prank on them. They've released models of fish fingers complete with fins and tails and eyes into the tanks in amongst the genuine fish and described them as bona fide aquatic life. The experts hope that people will be inspired to learn more about marine life. Yeah, or it will just confirm what they thought and they'll really believe that fish fingers do swim in the ocean and presumably feed on alphabetic spaghetti. That's true, by the way. When the zebras at a zoo in Gaza died earlier this year, notice how I put on my serious voice there. Did you like that? Because no, because it's sad. Zebras are dead. <laughs> when zebras at a zoo in Gaza died earlier this year, you see, that tone of voice, I could almost be reading the news, get with zebras, it's, that's okay. It's just not all light and crazy. But little pigs, not just that. <laughs> when zebras died, at, I'm even got a straight, I'm sorry. When zebras died at a zoo in Gaza earlier this year, bosses didn't want to disappoint visiting children. So they did what every uh, zookeeper would do. They painted stripes on a donkey. You see, the trouble is a new zebra will set you back about $40,000, but some black hair dye on a couple of white donkeys, well, that's much cheaper. Luckily for them, most of the children who visit the zoo have never seen a zebra before, therefore they're none the wiser. Ha <laughs> hmm. ha! However, the polar bear is now looking a little bit nervous after noticing that the panda looked a bit queasy. Ah, uh, now if, like me, you love a 90-year-old sprinter and a centenarian shot putter, well then you'll love the World Masters Games. More than 28,000 aged athletes from 95 countries have descended on Sydney for the latest tournament, which is the world's biggest multi-sport event. They hold it every four years, it's so cool. Seriously, uh, it is the biggest uh, sporting event. It has more entrants than the Olympics. Although, admittedly, at this one you're more likely to see someone break a hip than a world record. And now, sexy chicks with caskets. An Italian coffin firm says they hope the calendar will help promote their... Re no, this is a calendar. These, sorry, I didn't explain. These, these pictures are on a calendar that you can buy. It costs about nine quid. But the idea behind it is that it will help promote the Rome-based coffin manufacturers' wooden coffins and grab people's attention. So tasteful, isn't it? Now, when they said they wanted more stiffs, I'm not sure this was what... Now I know what I want for Christmas. No, not one of those coffins. Uh, how about this? A four foot tall chandelier made from hundreds of gummy bears. How cool is this? If you're worried the heat of the light bulb might, you know, melt them, uh, fear not. You know, yes, you might end up with molten bear on your carpet, but that's okay too, because after all, you can always just cover that up with a rug. And how about this rug? Yep, made out of gummy bears. That's your lot. We're out of time. Uh, don't forget more across the week online. Newslight.tv. I've been Steve Follow. Farewell.